Hey, good day, folks. Um, today I wanted to show you this 28 centimeter stove Dutch oven, or the La Cocotte as they call it, uh, that I picked up. Now, this video is a little bit redundant um, because about a year ago I already did a video on a 30 centimeter stove Dutch oven exactly the same as this, just a little bit bigger. Uh, but still, there are a couple of things that I still wanted to talk about with this one, so I thought I'll just make another video. Uh, and also the fact that this 28 centimeter model is the size that most people buy um, because it just seems to be in that sweet spot. You know, it's not, um, it's big enough for a large casserole, um, but it's not uh, without being too big or too heavy, okay, or too small for that matter. So it's kind of the perfect, you know, in the size um, that people go for. Uh, and Stope as a company, uh, these days they are actually owned by Zwilling. Um, so Zwilling is actually the same German company that owns the nylon, which I have a collection of. Uh, so first of all, let's uh, take a take a look around this piece. Um, so without really me talking, let's just have a look around this piece. Uh, so this, if you're considering buying one, this is what you get. So this is the lid. Uh, it's got the stainless steel knob. And on the other side of the lid, you got these, um, what do you call these? Dimples, I guess. Um, so Stope claims that these will drip moisture back down on your food during the cooking process to enhance the flavor. Whether that actually works or not, or if it's just a marketing gimmick, I'm not really sure. I don't think anybody could really test that. Uh, so it's 28 centimeter model. You got a number engraved on the side, on this side, and you got the made in France, um, the letters. And on the underside of the lid, you get this groove, which I'll talk a little bit about later um, so you get this quite this is quite a deep groove that goes all the all the, all the way around the um, edge of the lid and of course you've got the I've Dutch oven itself uh, you got the letter stove on the handle uh, so the handle is it's not too small but it's there they're definitely not that big um, there's a little bit of patina on the inside which I can clean off and this is the bottom of the Dutch oven so once again you got the made stove France uh, 28 um, the letters engraved on the bottom okay so the product range and the price so these come in a variety of sizes the smallest I've seen is 22 uh, the biggest I've seen is 34 uh, the price for this particular piece the 28 centimeter model you can pick this up anywhere between uh, 200 to 200 around 225 euros so that's kind of the price range you are looking at which is uh, reasonable I, I suppose so now let's go through the constructions and the dimensions so the volume is 6.7 liters and this is directly equivalent to the 28 centimeter Le Creuset by the way which also which is also 6.7 liters uh, the weight of the lid is 2.5 kilograms and the weight of the pan is 4.3 approximately so that gives us a total weight of approximately 6.8 kilograms uh, the diameter is exactly 28 centimeters and you get 23 centimeters of cooking surface, flat cooking surface down the bottom, okay? And the height of this piece is approximately 13. Now, in the last video I did on the 30 centimeter stove, um, I'll link a vid uh, I'll add a link down below for that video, by the way. I mentioned that um, I was not a huge fan of the black interior, um, because I, I think it makes it a little bit harder to see the browning of the food, but for a lot of people it's not a problem, okay? So don't, um, so don't use that as a decision maker on whether you're gonna buy the stove or the licorice or anything else. Um, because some people, on the other hand, they actually prefer the black interior. But however, one more thing uh, that I picked up uh, that I dislike about this piece is actually this, this groove which I mentioned earlier. Um, I don't know why Stoke chose to put that put it there, design it this way. I guess there would have been a reason, technical reason, but it just makes it very, very difficult to clean. Um, you know, my finger actually cannot even reach the bottom of this groove, groove, and I think you're gonna struggle with any utensils, cleaning utensils, as well. So that's the one thing that annoys me a little bit about this piece. And next, um, well, in the last video that I did, uh, again, link down below, I already did a comparison of the stove versus Le Creuset, so I'm not going to do that again. 
But if you are trying to decide between the stove and the liquid say, what I'm going to say, or all I'm going to say is that they're both cast iron, they're really pretty much, you know, the same thing. Um, and they are basically going to cook the same, okay? There are some people that claim one cooks a little bit different to the other, but I don't really believe that, to be honest. I think for 99% of the people, you are not going to notice a difference uh, in terms of the cooking between the stove and the liquor say. Uh, so basically, you know, just just buy what you like. If you like the design of the stove, then go for the stove. If you like the design of the liquor say, then go for the liquor say. Um, you know, one thing about the liquor say is they come in a wider range of vibrant colors than the stove. Um, so maybe you know, just from an aesthetic point of view, that could be a decision factor. But uh, with this particular piece, I have to say that the this red color in real life it looks darker more vibrant than on, in the photos on the website okay so if you look on the website the red color it, it appears to be a bit bland a bit dull but when you get it in real life it's actually a bit more vibrant than how it looks in the photo now the other reason that you might go with a stove is um well the price is about 30 to 40 euros cheaper than the liquor say for the same size um, the price for the Le Creuset has increased um, noticeably in the last two years or so. I remember uh, two years ago, you could pick up a 28 centimeter Le Creuset signature for around 200, 210 euros. But these days you're looking really at around 250 euros, um, which kind of sucks. But anyway, uh, and the stove you can pick up for around 200 to 225, that sort of price range. So you're saving about 30 euros there. Okay. So overall, in summary, um, this is a great piece. Um, you know, I hope you don't mind me doing this video kind of again, um, but I hope you enjoyed this quick look and I'll see you in the next video.